Hi everyone, in the world of cloud computing, here are a few tech news highlights from this week. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Thank you all for your support on social media and subscribing to our blogs and YouTube channel. We are now on iTunes with our podcasts of all the shows and news. Below there is a link. Watch out for the new weekly cloud computing shows with David Linthicum, who is the world's number one cloud industry expert and internationally recognized thought leader. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share these videos with your friends and with your colleagues. This week sees Docker unveil cross-cloud management container templates. Docker has announced new features for Docker Enterprise Edition and Docker Desktop to port and manage apps on the Kubernetes-based clouds and to build containers via template-based workflows. Both of the new features are scheduled to appear in Docker editions released in the second half of 2018. The first announced feature is called Federated Application Management and is intended to unify the different ways each cloud provider and operating system runs Docker by way of Kubernetes. The other announced feature, template-based workflows for Docker Desktop, allows Docker Desktop users to build containers using a wizard-like GUI interface. This week, the New South Wales government in Australia looks to Microsoft AI to cut 10 million Australian dollars from costs. The New South Wales government is working alongside the tech giant Microsoft to develop a new machine learning tool that will automatically monitor its 30 billion Australian dollar annual procurement budget and tell it when the money is being wasted and how it could cut the costs. The technology is being developed in partnership between Microsoft and the New South Wales Data Analytics Centre with the hopes of turning it into a commercial software service which can later be sold to other governments in Australia and around the world. New South Wales Minister of Finance, Services and Property, Victor Dominello, said to the Australian Financial Review, I call it colloquially the procurement sharpener. We have a procurement spend on goods and services of around 30 billion Australian dollars a year. And if you can sharpen that and get two to three percent savings, you can drive those efficiencies into other critical areas of public policy. We need to make decisions based on information rather than a gut feeling. This week sees Salesforce to invest $2.5 billion into its UK business to accelerate the growth. US cloud computing company Salesforce has announced that it will invest $2.5 billion in its UK business over the next five years to increase its headcount, data center capacity and office space. Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff said, the UK is Salesforce's largest market in Europe and our commitment to driving growth, innovation and customer success in the region has never been stronger. With this significant investment, we are well positioned to pursue the incredible opportunity for Salesforce, our customers and partners in the British market. British Prime Minister Theresa May said, Salesforce offers a wonderful example of the benefits a successful technology company can bring to the UK economy and I welcome their continued investment which will create interesting and high-skilled jobs for our workforce. This week sees Macy's assemble Talent Tech for its digital overhaul. It's unclear whether Macy's will ultimately nail down its digital strategy, reinvent itself to fend off Amazon and to create an in-store experience that can bolster sales. Macy's has hired a new Chief Technology Officer, Naveen Krishna from Home Depot, partnered with a retail as a service provider called Beta to build out core features to meld its digital and in-store experiences. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's news and remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and with your colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, find us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and also check out the latest shows with David Linthicum and the podcast in the link in the description box below. Until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.